Boy, I thought this would be a lot more painful, but, uh... <laughs> I think we're almost there. I want to recharge this wand. Okay. What are these normal bullets? I guess it's all right. All right, plus two arrows. I'm gonna sell that potion. Yeah, might as well put this in the uh, gem bag. Whoops. Alright, braces of archery and cloak of non detection. Have that ring to swap out. I think we're good. Okay. All right. I am yours to command. So I guess the only question then, well, we're just going to look at spells quick. <laughs> so she lost the one amulet. So I'm not sure what spells got erased, but I don't think it's a big deal. All right. Now she has extra spells available. So, okay, all right, wow, yeah, so I guess, uh, well, I'm not sure where we need to go, because we're looking for, uh, still looking for a Renegus, then. Alright, here's a Kuatoa warrior. So this is obviously the first time we're seeing one. Let's see what he does. Looks like a, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, he's got some kind of crossbow. The group needs me? Nature serves our quest. Yes? How can I help? What do you want? Oh, well, actually... Okay. Saya? There you are! Take the life she gave! Luckily, it looks like he's alone. Something amiss? All right, more enchanted bolts that <laughs> we weren't going to pick up. All right. Yes? It's interesting, though. He looked almost aquatic, and we think we're under the sea. Just, uh, something else I found out, that the Sawagin, that's actually, I think, how you pronounce it. The, uh, I'm not sure how I first pronounced it. How may I assist? But those aquatic creatures that we saw in the planar sphere... I looked that up on the uh, Wizards of the Coast, their pronunciation list. It's Sawagin and with a hard G, not with a J. I think I was maybe pronouncing it Sawajin. I guess what's interesting about that is... Uh, all right, let me just finish up. <laughs> this thought is that uh, the city from Planescape Torment, known as uh, Sigal, is pronounced with a hard G as well. That was a surprise for me. It's not Sigil, it's Sigal. Thanks to uh, Clack Click Bang for pointing that one out. That was also a surprise. All right, here's Carlig, who looks like a dwarf. Or right, I guess since we're in the Underdark, uh, probably a Durgar dwarf. Along with uh, Fenderleg and Uder Morden. Yeah, Durgar Encampment. 
I am yours to command. All right, speaking in a foreign tongue, which I guess Viconia can understand. That's interesting. It looks like she's introducing herself here at the end. Of course, Mala Viconia. I'm at your service in all matters. All right, here's Uter Morden interjecting. Wait, Carlig, she bears no house insignia that I know. Look at her companions. She is outcast. Looks like Jahira's taking this opportunity for a jab. He questions your worth, rightfully so. <laughs> you dare? It is simply good policy to understand who you are dealing with. You must excuse my fellows, but it's not often that those not directly associated with a house pass this way. I'm not sure we understood that Viconia was outcast from a drow house. I have to check her uh, biography again. I am Karlig, a traitor of sorts. <laughs> well, that's convenient. I think if that's the case, uh... Well, they'd certainly like to take advantage of that. But she's not really sure where the Durgar stand with respect to Irenicus. I think he actually hired some Durgar in his dungeon in the beginning. Just gonna ask maybe what to look out for. Most people will leave you alone if you're careful not to let them see you. Joking. Yeah, saying that, uh... Probably won't get along with most people down here. Since, uh, we don't belong. Alright, here's Uder Mordred talking about the Neckbiter and the Mage. Obviously, uh, Bodhi and Arenicus. Ah, yes, those two. Bad news, I would wager. I've seen them near the Drow City. Must be up to dirty dealings of those old Mora dark elves. Don't usually let strangers live. All right, more uh, foreign words here. All right, doesn't sound like they're necessarily aligned with Arenicus. All right, wishing us luck. You won't be able to simply walk into the Drow City. That place will come down on your head harder than a l Larg Tunnel Unsured. Or Illarg. Not sure what that is. Ask about before you go assaulting that place. Might be a better way. Fenderleg <laughs> doesn't believe it. I have wares to sell if you're interested. Always looking for fresh faces to trade with, no matter the color of shadow in you. Yeah, that's awfully convenient. In fact, uh, we might go back and pick up those bolts after all that we just dropped. Curious though, what kind of a... Oh, look at this, he's even got spells. And spells that... Lily wants. It's interesting. Don't have much coin, though. I think Lily might have to <laughs> conduct these negotiations and uh, probably gonna have to go back for those bolts. Look at all this. Yeah, I think she wants that. All right. <laughs> gonna have to raise uh, some money. Holy cow. She also wants this. Almost 8,000 gold. Well. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be able to come back here. I'm not sure what kind of a deal we're getting either. You know, I think we're going to... The group needs me? I think we're going to go get those bolts. <laughs> 
to make the most of this, and uh, not only the bolts that we dropped, yeah, but we didn't pick these up from the Kuatoa. Zaya? I think all of these were enchanted. I await your need. Yes? Not sure how specialized these are. Light crossbow. Oh. Kuatoa bolts. Coated with a special poison. With the potential to stun enemies. Wow. I don't think we realize that. Good thing uh, we didn't see that in effect. You know what? I think while we're selling all these things, we'll probably end up selling some of these darts. Just stick with arrows for now. All right. Something amiss. Kuatoa. Probably pronouncing that wrong also. 